This video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a domain, website, online store or simply a nice platform to showcase your photography, you can make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter offer code MATTHIAS to get 10% of your first purchase. About a year ago, I published a video with 5 reasons why I like shooting film. And almost 100,000 views later, I thought it was time to balance it out a little. So here are 5 reasons why I also shoot a lot of digital. First is the ability to set a fixed budget. Film cameras are much cheaper in general, they take less space and use less to no power as well. But shooting film is a running cost. A Leica M6 and a digital M8 costs about the same and uses the same lenses. And even though the M8 has a smaller sensor and lower ISO performance, it at least doesn't cost any more than that while for the M6 you need to keep buying film and chemicals. But it all depends of course, let's take this 25 kroner flea market find. The cheapest equivalent digital camera I've seen is a used Sony RX1 for 8900 Swedish. That means that I have to shoot and develop roughly 9000 color photos before I reach the cost of the camera alone. And it would be even more in black and white. And it's a sliding scale from there depending on the cameras we compare. But at the end of the day, if you're on a budget, digital will be easier to calculate for. Next reason is the ability to shoot video. If your camera can, that is. It's a great convenience to have at your fingertips, and in today's cameras the quality is very nice. You can shoot and develop motion picture film at home, it's especially easy with Super 8, and scanners aren't super expensive these days. But let's face it, no one wants to shoot home videos on film, even though I've done it a couple of times just for kicks. And if I were to shoot a serious short drama film, I probably would go with Super 16. And if one really wants to try it for fun, I have this hand crank Lomography Super 35 that takes regular 36 rolls. Not the best quality, but hey, it's a fun experiment. For any sort of mass production and daily shooting, stick to digital. Next up is the speed. Developing is one thing, it takes time. If you stand develop like in my tutorial, you don't have to spend that much time actively working with it, but there still is a lot of time needed for drying and such between taking the shot and publishing. This makes digital much more reasonable for shooting, for example, where I work. And there is Polaroid, Peel Apart Film, Instax, Sync and so on, so you definitely can get instant results. But then you still need to scan. And this is the worst part in my opinion. I truly hate scanning. The second to last reason was actually planned to be the final and biggest reason to shoot digital in my opinion. I'm talking about ISO. Not the amount, 1800 is as high as I would go on many digital cameras and the equivalent film looks alright to me. 
What digital brings to the table is the ability to change it on the fly and use auto. Being against auto ISO like it's some sort of amateur thing is a waste of technology in my opinion. I would rather have that than auto white balance in my camera. So if ISO was planned as the number one, why isn't it? Well, it's because I couldn't think of a fifth reason. To help figure it out, I started a thread asking why others choose digital both on forums and on Facebook. There were two that I had thought about from the beginning, but left off the list. First one isn't on the list, but let's give it an honorable mention. The ability to shoot like crazy. To put it in burst and just hammer away without thinking about how many frames are left on the road. That is truly amazing, but it's not on the list because it's also a negative. Shooting film teached me and would teach you to more often get it right the first time. So if you never dabbled with film but think it sounds interesting, go for it. Shoot a few rolls of medium format, it will make you a more confident and efficient photographer. So moving on to the number one reason to shoot digital after consulting with the internet. It is so you don't have to take so much crap from the film haters. If you also shoot digital, you can easier shut them up by showing how you can outshoot them on both mediums. That's it, both mediums are fine, it's all about having a good time. Check out my other videos and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye. This video was brought to you by Squarespace. At squarespace.com you find everything you need to start a nice page. Just use their domain search engine and one of their award-winning templates. It's all super easy to set up, very flexible and customizable. And if you ever need help, they offer 24-7 customer service. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter offer code MATTHIAS to get 10% off your first purchase.